Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another video. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how to move modded items between worlds, okay? Uh, now these items, uh, you could pretty much use any modded items as long as they store their data in MBT in the item itself. So that can be some machines, you know, pretty much any machine that you pick up and keeps its power, for instance, or keeps its items inside of it would do that. Or any um, thing that has configurations inside of it. Like I want to use the wand from Psy as an example. So let's say you have a wand from Psy that you've pre-configured with spells and you'd like to move it between worlds, like preload it uh, to use it as a tool when you start off worlds, okay? Now you can also do it with chests. I'll show you how to do that, but it depend, depends on the features in 1.12, uh, which is save toolbars, all right? So 1.12 and above will work uh, to do this type of trick. So basically what you wanna do is configure your item like you want it with all the spells and all that. And then we're gonna to want to place it on our hot bar and you can place any other items that you want as well uh, to pre-configure this way. Uh, sometimes it's better to keep them separated because it's easier to read the MBT. I'll show you how to do that. But uh, then we want to save the toolbar, all right? So you've got a tab here in Creative that'll tell you how to do the save toolbars. And that is set up by a, a key control in your settings of what the actual key assignments are. So X and C is what it's assigned to here. Save the toolbar is C and load it is X. All right, and you press, press a number along with it. So if I wanna save this toolbar, then I hold down my C key and I press one. All right, item toolbar save restore with X one. So. Uh, that toolbar is now saved and if I go into another world uh, and move the file, which I'll show you how to do, then I can reload this item with uh, that keystroke, X1. All right, that's the toolbar. So let's go out and take a look and see what it puts out on disk. So if you're going in Twitch, uh, then you would just go to your profile and choose open folder, but basically get to the Minecraft folder, dot Minecraft folder for your profile. If you're in MultiMC, you choose edit instance, uh, Minecraft folder, uh, not really edit instance, just right click on the uh, mod pack and get a uh, Minecraft folder. But basically you'll see that here is this file in that folder called hotbar mbt, and that's what's been saved, all right? So we can actually look at that in an MBT editor. I'll show you this online MBT editor because it works with 116 and all that. Uh, so basically just take that MBT file and drag it into the editor here and you can see what it contains. So these are your hotbar settings here. It's got space for nine of them. We saved in the first one, which is zero. So I can double click on that node and see that in uh, zero, I have the SciCAD right here, all right? And I can see the tags on it, what bullets are in it. I can even edit them if I want. Just be careful that you keep the same format and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what slots selected, you know, what's in the bullets again. You can open those to see more data about it. See what the spell is. So, you know, you could change the spell. I mean, you can get into deep detail. You don't really need to go into all this detail. Now, there's things that... The UUID and stuff matters. So, you know, editing this stuff can be kind of difficult, but I wanted to show you that basically you can view it, all right? So if you want to copy that into another world, then all you need to do is just copy this hotbar MBT file and then paste it into your new save. So you create a new world, uh, copy this, paste it in the same location, the, the root folder here above configs, above mods, all that kind of stuff and then load it with the same uh, save toolbar number that you want, so X1. If I wanted to load it again, so you know, let's just pretend I was in another world. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Here I could clear out this hotbar. Let's go to my regular hotbar and clear this out and then choose, uh, let me go full screen. Okay, choose X1 and it would reload it. See, so there it just reloaded the toolbar with that same uh, MBT, all that, the spells and everything inside of that. Again, that'll work on any machine or modded item that stores its MBT. Now you can also in vanilla do it with chests, all right? Uh, so if you wanna put some items in a chest 
and store them and have the chest uh, that you could preload you could do that as well all right now how you do that is you use your pick block function so whatever that's assigned to it's middle click by default uh, but you hold down your control key when you choose your pick block uh, on windows or on mac you hold down command key all right so hold it down and then pick block and when it does it will pick up this chest and in the tooltip it'll say nbt plus or plus nbt and that means that it has that those items stored inside of it right there so see if i take that item and then save the toolbar uh to the world same trick that we did save it to another toolbar or whatever you then I can transfer the items in this chest as well. So that's pretty cool to be able to do that if you want building blocks or just pre-configured modded, modded items or what have you. Uh, again, modded items will work as long as they store their MBT inside of it. An example of one that doesn't work, for instance, would be your uh, Project E uh, transmutation table. It doesn't store the MBT inside of the transmutation table. It does store MBT, and I have a video on the channel about how to move that stuff. But um, basically, that's an example of one that wouldn't work. All right. Uh, now, again, you could do this in, in 112 and above with the vanilla chest thing, uh, and that'll work just fine. So, guys, that's a pretty cool little tip on how to move items between worlds. Uh, now I do just quickly want to point out a mod that does the same type of thing and that's a mod called multiverse pouch all right uh, it's not very well known uh, but it basically does the same thing but maybe in a little bit cleaner function using a pouch now you have to click a block to open it for some weird reason uh, but if I took this guy and I put it in this multiverse pouch here all right and then save out like so uh, let me get out of full screen. Then I have an item in that same folder uh, where your profile is. Uh, there's a folder called Multiverse Pouch. And so inside of that is the data for what I just saved. Now I can load it as well inside of an MT editor, although it has the DAT file extension, uh, and see that, what, what's inside of it as well. So I could do that. And it's got a lot more data because there's slots. All right. But we were in the first slot. Uh, so I should be able to see everything inside there. See SciCAD, the tags on it, and all that kind of stuff. So that's another way to do it with a mod. If for some reason a mod works better for you, uh, you can use this multiverse pouch mod. Same concept. Just copy this, in, this dat file and paste it into your new world in multiverse pouch. Now, any new world you load using this same profile right here, because it, you know, it's above the level of saves, will load this pouch without you having to do anything. You only need to copy this if you want to go to a brand new mod pack and paste it in there. Again, guys, it, it should be obvious, but you have to have the same mods installed. I mean, you, you have to have the same mods installed and configured that calls the item from it for it to work correctly okay there could in some possible you know scenario be id conflicts and problems and stuff like that if you're really really pushing the limits of what you're doing but mostly in the modern versions they resolved it to uh, be able to use the mod uh, ids rather than numeric ids especially in later versions to be able to sort all that kind of stuff out so uh, your mileage may vary but it's a pretty good little tip guys on how to move items between worlds hope that's helpful to you this is scott omato thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next one have a great day bye bye